So did you enjoy the coin collecting game we did last time? You've been very busy. We've got lots of requests for this next workshop, a target game. Welcome to the Whiz Kids Digital Skills Virtual Classroom. Let's call up PJ for a lesson on how to make a target game. Welcome to my target practice game. So as you can see from the environment here, I've got lovely hills in the background here, trees, but all of the action is happening here in the middle. Kodu is player one. He sits in the middle here and he fires missiles and I'm trying to destroy these blimps on the outside. So if I just press play here quickly, you can see if I just get myself a nice view here, I can indeed fire some missiles and destroy some of these blimps, which is great. And my objective is to try and destroy these as quickly as possible. So, let's strip this back and let us begin. To begin our game, we are going to import our first sprite. So let's bring in Kodu, which is going to be controlled by us. So our first objective here is to program Kodu to turn when we want it to. So let's go to keyboard and go to MISC, and this is where we're going to specifically choose an arrow. So when I press the right arrow, I want Kodu to turn right. Likewise, when I press the left arrow on my keyboard, I expect Kodu to turn left. Not only that, I also expect him, when I press the space bar, which is also inside MISC here, I expect Kodu to shoot a missile level. Press escape and press play and you'll see now that Kodu does indeed fire a missile which is great but they're slow and it takes ages to reload. So how can you solve that problem? If you go to change settings you'll see inside your Kodu you've got loads of options in here but if you scroll down to where you see missile you see missile reload time every three seconds let's reduce that to one second. Missile speed Let's change that to 10, which is perfect. Press escape, press play, and you'll see now that your missiles do indeed fire a lot quicker, which is awesome. Okay, so let's think about our blimps. So our blimps are going to follow a path, so we need to draw a path. And please make sure that your path joins up. And when you finish your path, press right click, and then let's bring in a blimp. So I'm just going to place a blimp beside me in this option here you'll see I won't be able to hit my blimp because it's too high so I'm just going to quickly change its height there we go about 1.8 there we go it's perfect and then I'm going to pick it up and just place it by my path and before we do anything else we've got to program it to follow the path and we're going to say to our blimp can you move on a path for me quickly Let's see if he does that, and he does indeed, which is great, and I can spin around and try and shoot him. Let's see if we can zap our blimp, there we go, happy days. And to finish off your target game, right click and copy and just paste a few blimps around the edge of your path and you've got yourself a target practice game, which is great fun. So, happy coding and happy zapping. Enjoy. So now you know how to make a tag game. You can make some more yourself. Next time on Coding for Crenu, we're going to be learning how to make a racing game.